Are there any interests to declare? Can I move that we approve the minutes of our last meeting held on the 8th of October? Is that agreed? Agreed. agreed. We have no mere reports to consider, so we'll move on to our next item of business. We now have six public recommendations to consider. Uh, approval of the budget for the improvement plan, capacity and commissioner costs. Pages 10 to 21 of the agenda. This recommendation <laughs> provides more detail on capacity requirements and commissioner costs related to the implementation of directions placed on the council on the 10th of June 2021 following the best value inspection. Approval is sought to draw down additional funding from the improvement reserve and create the necessary budget provision so we can deliver change. This is a positive step forward, ensuring we have sufficient resources to deliver the required improvements alongside our ongoing journey to embed culture change within the organisation. Are the recommendations as set out in the report agreed? Agreed. Next item, Liverpool Pandemic Recovery Pledges, update, pages 22 to 60. This recommendation provides an update on progress on the 10 Pandemic Recovery Pledges and seeks approval to allocate funding to support ongoing delivery work. This is a welcome update. Above all, I'd emphasise this is not isolated work, but has very much formed part of a wider range of work which has been delivered <coughs> through partnership work and across multiple agencies as the city seeks to move beyond the pandemic. Are the recommendations as set out in the report agreed? Agreed. 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 Next item, Liverpool City Council, data circuit direct award to Virgin Media. This recommendation seeks approval to award a contract to Virgin Media, Media for, for our ICT data circuit systems. Are the recommendations as set out in the report agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Next item, continuous of the highways core framework agreement to, to years two to four, pages 70 to 78. This recommendation seeks approval to appoint contractors to undertake react reactive highways maintenance under the highways core framework agreement. Councillor Barrington, would you like to say a few words? Thanks, Mayor Joanne. I'm pleased to bring this report forward. The maintenance and repair of our highway network provides benefits to all communities through support and access to workplaces, shopping districts, healthcare, education and entertainment areas. It is crucial that access to these areas is well maintained to support the city's recovery from the pandemic and alongside ensuring sustainable economic growth. Thank you, Councillor Banton. All the recommendations are set out in the report agreed. 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 Can I advise that our next item of business, the acceptance of grant, Safer Seats Fund in Round 2, an update report was circulated yesterday in the supplementary agenda. Noting this update, we'll now consider the report. The recommendation seeks approval to accept a grant of 387000 from the Police Crime Commissioner to reduce neighbourhood crime. Councillor Kadir, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, uh, Mayor Joanne. Um, this is uh, great news uh, to see the funding being used to support the growing resilience uh, in the Flower Streets project, which is in uh, Kirkdale Ward, one of the most deprived uh, wards. Um, the project focuses on uh, improving the feeling of safety through infrastructure change and also working closely with the community and getting the community involved in activities. Uh, the project will also uh, get the benefit of new CCTV cameras, uh, street lighting columns, alleyway, uh, alley gate uh, upgrade and partnership days. Obviously, uh, this is a great news and to, to see that finally there's kind of uh, funding going to Im uh, improve and go to the core of changing uh, safety in our wards. Welcome news. Uh, all the recommendations are set out in the report agreed? Agreed. agreed. Next item, Contain Outbreak Management Funds, pages 183 to 189. This recommendation seeks approval to accept a Contain Outbreak Management Fund grant totaling 24.9 million from the Department of Health and Social Care. 
This will support the cost of test, trace and outbreak management in respect to Liverpool's residents, particularly for those affected by the COVID-19 pa pandemic. Councillor Fraser-Lake, would you like to say a few words? Thanks, Mayor Joanne. This is welcome additional funding, which will support a step change in services for some of the city's most vulnerable residents. Uh, so I'm pleased to bring this to Cabinet today. Thank you. Are the recommendations assessed out in the report agreed? Agreed. Agreed. We now have three partially exempt recommendations to consider. As only certain appendices to these reports are exempt, I propose that we consider the overall reports in public. This is on the basis that we accept